Hello, my name is Agi Master 1000. Welcome back to another episode of Skullgirls. Today, we're going to get into the penultimate episode. Where we finally take a look at Peacock's story. Without further ado, let's get into it. Peacock! Oh, Laduk! Hive! Meet Peacock, Lab 8's magnum opus. So this is Project Peacock. I've read your papers, but I'm embarrassed to say that I can barely follow them. Well, I'll explain. Project Peacock is equipped with not one, but two synthetic parasites. Uh, Lab Zero has created one other like her, but more uh, extreme methods were required to complete the synchronization. Two synthetic parasites? Regulating the soul contamination must be difficult. Indeed. But with the proper Theonite balance, I think we could graft even more onto future subjects. The Argus system not only lets her see everything, but the eyes also generate powerful Z-rays at the precise wavelength needed to disrupt the Skullgirl's essence. Hey, Gramps! Shut it! I'm busy here. Oh, the Avery unit is admittedly a bit less well understood. Oh, we designed it to be a spatial link between her body and Lab 8's vast underground arsenal, but oh, she's doing things with it I never imagined possible. Seriously, Doc, shut it! Let's get into the good part! To think that poor mutilated orphan I found may be the one to defeat this Skullgirl once and for all. Freaking go, Peacock. Ah. Uh. Hey, Avery? So did the, uh, boss take a bath or what? And what does she brush her teeth with, anyway? Metal polish? I think a bath and her usual morning routine were implied. But they aren't something the audience needs to see. <laughs> Hot 2D fighting. The freaking self-awareness. Let's go. Time to paint the town red! Do I know you? You don't! Time to put on a show! Action! Yo -ho -ho okay, and here we go. Hit him with the projectile spam. Let's freaking go. Oh, now it's my turn to be degenerate. Let's freaking go. Oh, this poor guy. Come on, come on, you can do it. You can get closer, come on. It's fine. You can do it. Come here, come here, come on, come here. You can, you can get closer. Ah, oh, glorious. And it's over. What a maroon! Man, it feels good to be a degenerate, now doesn't it? Ah. Uh, okay, maybe we won't do that for every match, because it'd be really boring if we just project all the whole time. Showtime! Tailspin! Alright, we're done with that combo. Try and true. I don't know if we want the other funny things that we're supposed to be doing, but you know, we're gonna try our best. Let's see, I know one combo if I can remember it. That's more of a funny thing. Okay, let me try to see if I can pull this off. 
I believe they do. No. No, it's freaking. There's one way you. Am I doing it? I'm not doing this correctly. Because I'm trying to. Exactly. I can't remember how to use the how to use the bomb. So what you do is you put the bomb down and you use the the laser move, and then you push the bomb forward and it explodes. It's a really neat combo. Unfortunately, I cannot remember how to do the bomb the bomb blockbuster, so we can't show it to you. This battle is all in the mind. Man, Action. Peacock's aesthetic is like I love cartoon aesthetic. Like I guess the I guess the reason why I freaking gravitate so heavily to Beowulf and Big Band is Be Beowulf and Jump and Big Band because they all have aesthetics and gimmicks that I really really enjoy. Freaking Peacock is cartoons. Beowulf is Hulkamania, uh, to make some ring with me, brother, and Big Band is, uh, he's a huge music. How could you not love that? And it, it makes me ask the question, do I, do I main these characters because they're designers, because I think they have good design, or do I think they have good design because I main these characters? I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's because I just freaking love their design these characters so much. Freaking, that's how I decide which characters I want to play if I just like how they play. Yeah, I really do the... No, that's not it. And there's another move that you do with the... Uh, you get the big beat down all the, uh, all the boys. You collect the boys together and they do the big beat down move. I can't remember how to do it. Like even when I pl oh plot. Who are all these posers getting between me and the schoolgirl? Don't they know who I am? I was built to beat schoolgirls. The sooner I get done with that schoolgirl, the sooner we can get back and watch Glorious Annie's Symphony of Star stuff. Yeah, I gotta get back in time for wrestling. Oh, I heard Beowulf's coming out of retirement. Doc Avian! Dr. Avian! Who did this to you? Lab Zero. Valentine betrayed us. She let the Skull Girl in. Which way did they go? They fled to New Meridian. Follow, but make sure the others are safe. I know you can protect everyone. I know you can defeat the Skulker. He's gone, boss. Bro, they killed him. Guys, get ready. Pissing me off is the last mistake those idiots will ever make. Sorry, she just. Marie, she's the schoolgirl. Wait, Peacock knows. I'm sorry, my child, but your reunion with Marie will have to wait. She has important business to attend to in the Grand Cathedral. Another Peacock? Looks more like a dodo to me. Extinct. Enough. Avian's legacy ends now. All right, double. Ladies and gentlemen, it's well then, showtime! You know what has to be done. Go! 
It's a ranged battle. Yeah, isn't this interactive gameplay? I smell bread. Wait a minute, I heard that sound bit before. Hello, nurse. Nice place you got here, by the way. That's the freaking sound so, bit from Lab 8's ultimate Hold weapon up. finally arrives. I never expected you to be double, but don't worry, I'll be fitting you with a toe tag shortly. So why'd you do it? Both of our labs are supposed to be working together to destroy the Skullgirl. And you let her write to us! As though I'd explain myself to a child. We came to stop Dr. Avian's work, and that's what we did. You really think I'm gonna let you walk out of here alive, nurse? I don't think you have a choice. I'll admit you were almost an interesting opponent. But, infected by Avian's philosophy of weakness, you're nothing more than garbage. Double? It's time Lab 8's final experiment came to an end. Squawk! We'll show you weakness, lady! We are gonna murderize ya. Time to die, traitor! Yeah, what they said. We're sending you straight to hell for what you did to the doc! Here comes trouble! Time for your physical. Who right, will our we star be tonight? Let's rock! <laughs> you win! Man, I was saying things about oh, how much I love this Peacock and Beowulf design. Like, I always gravitate... If, how I decide if I want to play a character always depends on how much I vibe with their aesthetic. I feel like that's how a lot of people decide how they want to, how they want to play. Like, it, it has the same way I play on mobiles like League of Legends or Smite. If I just vibe with the character and the aesthetic, then it's like, yes, please, I want more of this character. Like freaking, there are people even have to play the game. So I think I feel like that's how a lot of people get into fighting games. They just like the characters a lot. Like, even if they don't want to play the game, they just play. They just the characters are so neat and awesome that you just have to. You just want more of them. And it's good that game Pico's gameplay is a little bit mindless against the AI. That I can just try to talk about this subject. I'm mean, aware I have Blockbuster, but even the fact that he only has three Blockbuster moves, and I forgot how to just pull one of them. The other one is just really difficult to pull off. I don't know how to do it, so. Like, how can you not adore Peacock? Her gameplay. See, if Peacock's gameplay were on any other character, I wouldn't. I probably wouldn't enjoy it. But freaking, cause it's Peacock, I'm like, yes, give me more of this. Give me more of this gameplay. Give me more of this tiny cartoon child. And then it only gets better when you take a big band in the into you the You should not have come. Do not worry about me. My quest is nearly at an end. Oh please! Don't worry about you. Some hellish MacGuffin has turned you into an undead killing machine, and I was created to stop you. And there's no way you can beat me. So of course I'm worried about ya. Look, Patricia, you will understand. Whoa! Is that... him? So all these people are... Evil. From the slave traders of Ramograd to their patrons, the Medicis. All must perish. Patricia, please leave. I cannot guarantee your safety much longer. You know I can't do that. It must be taking everything you've got to fight that thing inside ya. One of these days, you'll slip up and you'll be just as bad as those guys. Or worse, you leave me no choice but to beat you down, blow you up, and rip the skull heart right out of you. Let's hope there's enough of you left that we can sit down with some pie together when this is all over, okay? All right, let's hit him up with another, with another Marie fight. But this time. 
Oh, but this time, the shoe's on the other foot. I'm the one with the access to all the projectiles. Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime! Foolish okay. Marie. Yeah. 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 You cannot reach me. Uh, it feels glorious to finally be able to absolutely beat over your own game. You tossed me away, but you fool. It only makes me stronger. Okay. Now this is the this is the dangerous part. See how weak you are. Ouch. Okay, I just need to worry about that one. See, because I didn't actually get close to her, this one's so much easier. Frick you, Marie. See how we are. Ouch, okay. Okay, she's actually approaching me. That's, that's the thing you don't want to see. Stop that. Know your place. Ouch, okay. We're so close. Oh, uh, okay, now I'm projecting. Okay, my projectiles actually don't reach this far. Oh no. Okay, it's all falling apart. Oh. Is this how the story ends? Okay, so projectile spamming might not be the, the way to go about this. I just need to preserve my life total until I can get to face it. It all depends on your skill. Let's rock! Naturally, I only use HP when it came to frickin'. When it came. Uh, Okay, I should probably try to use a lot of the other, like, freaking. Yes, I, I should actually try to use... Here we go. Okay. Ouch, okay. Don't. Ouch. So sure you can defeat me. See how weak you are. You dare challenge me. You dare challenge me. Base two is still the worst. So sure you can defeat me. Stop that. See how weak you are. Still have to use. See how weak you are. Can okay, you just take it slow? Oh, I was blocking. Okay, frick. Ouch. Frickin'. Okay. Ow. Ow. Okay. Freaking right at. I uh, hate it. You can't give up now. See, even when you're being in your own game, it's still friggin' obnoxious. I hate this boss fight so much. Everybody, mind your marks. Showtime. We just stinks. Now, if I wasn't just now, maybe now maybe I should reevaluate my plan of just using one project type of projectile. Definitely send more of these over there. Oh, I did it! There we go. Ah, oh, that point didn't work. Ouch, I freaking... Okay, and now I have to go for the gusto in this one because my like, does won't reach her, and then you the frick that one me. comes off the top. Take your place. I hate it. <laughs> this is just the worst. <laughs> there we go. Ah, frick the Marie boss fight. Told you I'd win, but I appreciate you trying to put up a fight. Now, about the skull heart. Who needs wishes? I'm already the strongest there is.
Yeah, just annihilate that freaking thing, get Foolish rid of it. Foolish child. Do you really think this is over? At least for now. Right, Marie? Right, Patricia. I'm sorry I ran away that day. You stood up for us, and I ran. When I found the Skull Heart, I thought maybe I could make things right and punish the people that did that to you. We're good. You'll always be my friend. Got it? That makes me... happy. Tell you what. I'll pick up where you left off. Now that I beat you, saved the day, and it's rerun season, I don't have much to do. So why not? Well, that... and bloodying those Mafia fools sounds like a hoot. That... would be wonderful. Thank you, Patricia. Yeah, fruit the Mafia. It was good seeing you. One last... time. So, the rumors were true. Geiger's resorted to experimenting on children now. My, how the mighty have fallen. Cram it, Granny. I don't want to rush you, but let's get this over with already. I've been slaughtering your goons all night. I'm missing my stories, and I need my beauty sleep. So I do Then wonder... let me tuck you in for your final bedtime. Is that the same guy that used to be Samson's partner? That would be interesting. But I have no idea. So, uh, well, that is Peacock's story. Very interesting. Not exactly the up there with the best, but you know what? She's not DLC, so she's not as well written as the rest of them. So that's, uh, that's a given. But still, I like Peacock for the aesthetic. And her uh, gameplay loop was probably by far the easiest for me. It's very mindless to do that against the AI, so I just I could just uh, I can just take a nice backseat. Unless that's the end of it all. At the very least, I'm glad I can finally put this chapter behind me as I walk forward into the last and final episode of Skullgirls, where I play Big Band, my boy. Oh boy, it's been quite the wild ride. But I'm really glad I, I, I embarked on this. So yep, yeah, that's whoops. Well, uh, here we are. Until we go into the last episode. Skullgirls, we play Big Band, and we'll be get right to the swing of things. Until next time, I'm your master of thousands. We're going to be a 24-hour video. And peace.